about three to 5,000 people uh, were at the airport uh, yesterday afternoon when uh, they are essentially cut off from the world. The tanker crashed into the bridge. Did you know over 30 million cubic meters of Earth were used to build an island? Yes, we're talking about the Kansai International Airport, an engineering marvel built on a man-made island in Japan. This airport has been facing a relentless battle against the forces of nature. Let's see how Japan is struggling to save this floating airport. Back in the late 1960s, Osaka needed a new airport. The existing one was bursting at the seams and was hemmed in by the city. So, the audacious idea of an artificial island airport was born. It was a gamble, but one driven by Japan's constant battle for space. Building this island was no easy feat. It involved colossal dredges, millions of cubic meters of earth, and a mind-boggling number of concrete blocks to keep the whole thing from washing away. But there was a hidden danger lurking beneath the waves. The seabed itself was sinking. The engineers weren't naive. They knew the island would sink, but not by this much. So they devised a brilliant solution. Over a million adjustable pillars were installed, working alongside a network of sensors and jacks. This incredible system not only combats earthquakes, but also slows down the island's descent. Talk about thinking ahead. By 1994, the dream was a reality. The airport, designed by the famed architect Renzo Piano, opened its doors. But the celebrations were short-lived. The final bill was a staggering $20 billion, way above budget. Airlines bulked at the high landing fees, and passenger numbers fell short of expectations. The airport's new owners, a consortium led by Vinci Airports, knew they had to act swiftly. Time was of the essence. Emergency repairs began immediately to restore basic functionality. The damaged bridge underwent a meticulous reconstruction process, ensuring its structural integrity and ability to withstand future storms. But the focus wasn't just on immediate repairs. The team also seized the opportunity to strengthen the island's defenses against future typhoons and rising sea levels. In the wake of Typhoon Jebby's destruction, Kansai International Airport underwent a multi-layered defense upgrade. Walls were raised, and tens of thousands of new wave-absorbing blocks were installed. But the focus wasn't just on resilience. Vinci airports included plans for solar panels, aiming for a more sustainable future. This fight for survival goes beyond nature's fury. It's a race to adapt to a changing climate. Despite the challenges, the future looks somewhat brighter. A multi-million dollar renovation project recently wrapped up. What's the main goal? To transform the airport into a modern marvel, capable of handling 40 million passengers annually, especially for the upcoming 2025 World Expo in Osaka. Luxury shops like Louis Vuitton and the world's first Dior Airport Cafe now grace the halls. It's a far cry from the early days of financial strain. So, is Kansai International Airport finally out of the woods? Well, not quite. The ground is still sinking, albeit slowly, and the ever-changing climate adds another layer of uncertainty. Kansai International Airport is a testament to human ingenuity. It's a place where innovation meets vulnerability, a constant race against the clock and the elements. Will this floating marvel stand the test of time? Only time will tell. We hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel.